Hello, so let's go ahead and start learning Flame Painter for the new release by working on a, some small project or actually we're going to create one and we're learning all these properties, tools, brushes and overall. So as you start the Flame Painter, you notice on the beginning we actually have an interface open which is prompt us what size of a workspace we want to have. So this is our document. We can always go ahead and open one, which we already created. If you have it any reason, you will have it a list of the recent documents you created. And of course, if you don't want it, you can click clear list and it's become empty as you can see on my screen. Our canvas size is familiar with the pixels, so we have a different size we can put manually. We also can select a dot per inch DPI, similar to its traditional, your screen. However, I say it's traditional because you have it 125 on Samsung, you have it all these different sizes or uh, 240 or other DPI based on a device you're using. iPad, uh, iPhone, phone, Samsung or other ones. And some even monitors now come with different DPI. But usual for old ones, 72 pixels, it is default. As well, if you're familiar, some printing, it can be 150 dpi or 300 dpi if you print out. So you can set dpi, but if, you don't if you're not familiar with what document you're creating, just keep it on 72, this is, will be very common. Also notice we have an option to switch from pixels to centimeters to inches, so we can set precise size for our documentation. And if you like that ratio, you can click on a lock to lock the ratio on this case. If you modify it with, the height will modify it as well. Okay, so this is a simple adjustment. As well, we can send change from landscape to vertical. Notice on the right side, as we're modifying, we have it our canvas size information. Below, we have it already preset. So for example, if I don't know what size I needed, but I know it's a leather size, I can click on the leather, which is set for me 11 inches by eight and a half. And notice it says also DPI as 300 for me. So right here, I have it preset for my print, for my screen options. And if I create any favorites, that is just my preset. For example, if I want to do for the YouTube um, channel header or a Facebook preload screen, anything I can create and save there. So if we look on our screen definition, you can see we have a different resolution to 3000, 4000 DPI with, uh, sorry, pixels with 200 DPIs. We also have it HD. It is a resolution for our video screen. Uh, 720, it's not full. We have a full HD. Uh, 1920 we have a 2k 4k so we have all of these beautiful presets already done for us on our right side from this we have it also our background by default it says to the black but you can create your own color go to the white so let's go right now i'm just going and click 2000 pixels 200 dpi so i will just set as default and also if you are familiar and you don't want that screen you can check on the bottom where it says do not show on a startup. I will leave it unchecked right now because as we're working with tools, I want that come prompt and help. So when we're done, let's go click OK. At this point, you'll notice we're creating now our canvas is open so we can work with it.